Timna Park is located about 25 kilometers or about 17 miles north of Elat in the Israel's Negev Desert. One of the largest attractions in the south of Israel is the park with its beautiful majestic desert settings. It has an amazing history and ge geology. There are also several unexpected activities, uh, including those of, yes, surprisingly, a lake in the desert. It covers about 23.4 kilometer, um, sorry, square miles, um, in a horseshoe shape valley surrounded by steep cliffs. The Mount Timna is the world's first ever copper mine situated in the center of this um, magnificent area. Daily tours to Timna Park are available from Elat. Evidence of this ancient copper mines and the mining shafts, um, shafts are to be seen throughout the park. There are also remains of uh, smelting surface, um, as furnaces dating back to the ancient imperial Egypt. Copper was the first metal for creating works and household tools, weapons, costly ornaments and Celtic objects. Uh, the importance of Timna in the ancient world was great. An on-site movie displays also tells the amazing history of the site and the visitors are engaged by dreamlike stories of Egyptian goddesses and also the pharaohs.
Solomon's pillars are towering sandstone columns, perfectly formed, in fact so perfectly formed that you might not believe that they are the work of nature, but they are. Um, as with the rest of this amazing geology and of the landscape, of this singular, are the work of nature alone. They are the result of strips of volcanic magma freezing into the cliffs. This scenery truly is a thing, is, is, is something that the dreams are made of. Snaking across Timra Park are various hiking trails, short and long, for the, the experience levels are also tied to these um, trails. Timna Valley Park was opened by the Jewish National Fund to share Rothenberg's findings with the public and there are around 20 different walking trails and some roads in the park to lead the visitors to various attractions. The Jewish National Fund, a non-profit organization that aids in the development of Israel, funded the creation of many of the non-historic tourist and family attractions and activities in the park. The park includes a visitor's recreation area with an artificial lake and a 4D film light and sound show. The park is used as a location for open air concerts and also cliff climbing events.
Visitors to these sites can witness the amazing works of nature and how men work these mines. It's also home to an amazing wildlife of plants and trees, animals, which make the desert their home, surviving in these harsh, arid conditions. Within the park, rather uniquely for the desert, is a small lake. You can treat your family to pedal boats with the, for your kids, and there are also activities such as sand bottling. Uh, bottling. Uh, it's the because of the region, the region that has um, quite a variety of different color and unique sand. There's a juggling.
the replica of the tabernacle, a life-size replica of this biblical tabernacle. The tent that God is said to have instructed Moses to build to have a transportable sanctuary during the exodus from Egypt to the Holy Land was constructed in the, constructed in the park. These are historical treasures and wonders that is a one of a kind and hidden in the expanse of the Israeli Negev desert in the southern Israel. Therefore, this is something not to be missed. Solomon's Pillars, one of the most stunning and overwhelming areas in Timna Park. Solomon's Pillars, another example of the park's incredible unique rock formations. The pillars are formed because of erosion around the cracks of the, of the sandstone. Just a few minutes walk from the pillars, you will also find an ancient Egyptian temple uh, for the goddess Thor, Thahor. On the way to the Mushroom Rock, you will pass the small visitor centers with remains of information about an ancient copper mine in the area, said to be one of the oldest in the entire world. Spiral Hill. Uh, after driving through the entrance of Timna, you'll be amazed by the sheer beauty of the landscape around you. And then, as you gaze at the mountains and skies, your eyes will wander to a very distinct sight, a rock that seems to spiral into the sky, like a little huge Hersey kiss in the middle of the desert. As tempting as it is, you can really climb up the rock, but it it's uh, certainly a beautiful sight. The hidden lake, technically outside of Timna Park, just a few minutes drive away, the hidden lake is a sight not to be missed. Unlike the man-made oasis within Timna Park itself, this surprising lake is 100% natural. No one expects to see a bright greenish blue lake in the middle of the desert. But the development of this lake is amazing and one should check it out.
The mushroom rock, perhaps the most famous of all Timna's incredible rock formations, the mushroom rock is named after its striking resemblance of a mushroom. Throughout history, the rock eroded more rapidly at the bottom of the structure, giving it a memorable shape. The Empty Road. The desert is famous for its beauty, but the area around Timna Park is a whole new level of exploration. The jagged, harsh mountains of multiple shades of brown, grey and red contrast majestically against the cloudless blue sky. The road leading up to Timna Park has one of the most beautiful views that, can, that one can see. Stop to appreciate it before entering the park itself. This will really change your life. If you enjoyed this journey as much as we did, please subscribe to my channel for future videos that we would like to share with everyone. Give us a like. If this has been enjoyable and insightful and making everyone part of our adventures, click that notification bell to receive all the new content, content that will be posted once uploaded. At the end of every video, you will find all our social media platforms. We will also like everyone to join and share your comments as this will help us grow our channel and we will also learn at the same time.